Hello, Mac Warriors. How's it going? And welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online, where we are playing the Rifleman today. I was inspired by the Black Pants Legion. Tex and his crew did a wonderful job on a lore video on this beautiful Mac here, and uh, I'm gonna try to uh, give it a bit more justice by just playing it today in a loadout that is kind of you know the the initial design of it. It's not the stock design, but it is a long range fire support, so it basically fulfills the role of on the battlefield that was intended for the Rifleman. We're gonna take the C3. 3C variant today because that thing is uh, actually quite cool. It has four ballistic hard points, it has four energy hard points, and we're gonna utilize all of them. And as you can see, uh, there are some long barrels sticking out of this. And I mean, isn't that beautiful? I really like this anti air artillery look of the mech. But anyway, let's talk about the build for a second before we dive into the two uh, games. As you can see, we have two LB2 auto cannons on each arm, giving us four total, and we have a whooping alpha strike of eight damage because of it. Um, just from the autocannons. And you might be like, wait, that's very underwhelming. The good thing is, our autocannons have an amazing range of about a thousand meters and they have a very great rate of fire. So our job is to suppress the enemies, to deal damage over long range, very early on, very often, in order to soften them up and uh, eventually getting the kill. So we are a uh, fire support damage dealer type of mech here that, um, you know, utilizes range. And this is a thing that you should really do because the mech is quite squishy. It doesn't really have um, lower arm actuators, which means your side torsos are kind of open and they're uh, easy to hit. And speaking of side torsos, we are running an XL engine on this one here, which means that um, once the side torso, any side torso is gone, your mech is blowing up. So use the range to your advantage and um, try to just keep your enemies at an arm's length, or let's say at about a thousand meters, and uh, play it as it is intended, as a long-range damage dealer. Speaking of range, we also have some ER, like extended range, <clears throat> small lasers as our backup here, and that's just because sometimes uh, they are, the fight, the close-range fight is inevitable. Sometimes enemies will push you, sometimes you have to change your position because you don't have any target in your sight anymore, therefore you gotta join the fight that is unfolding on the front line, and when that happens, you have additional damage, 3.25 damage per laser, which is... Not much still, but it's still something that you can throw in. And the cool thing about the mech is that it's really cold, so you don't need any artificial cooling. The 10 um, heat sinks that come with the engine are just enough to keep the mech cold, and it's just great. Speaking of the rest of the mech here, we have 7 tons of ammo, and I would say an 8th ton would be great. <clears throat> you might run out of ammo, that might happen, <laughs> second game maybe. And um, yeah, for that reason I would say you could change the build a little bit to get another ton of ammo in, and the way you would do it is, um, I mean currently we are running 70 kph, but this mech is rather stationary, we don't need that amount of speed, so we could drop it down to a 235, and with that we can add another ton of ammo. But now that we are below 250, we uh, have um, not the 10 heat sinks that are mandatory for the build anymore. The engine only provides 9 now. So the lower you get, the less heat sinks you, come, you get from the engine. Therefore, we need to add another heat sink in order to finish the mech. And now we are running 63.5. That is just good enough, I would say, for mobility. And we have another ton of ammo. So that would be kind of an optimized or alternative build. But as you can see, we also have stripped down the leg armor. And that is quite easily doable because when you think about the mech um, from, um, uh, from a horizontal no, vertical perspective, um, you can see all of the hard points are very high mounted. That means you don't need to expose your mech uh, so much. You just have to go up to the waistline. That means your legs are mostly in cover when you have a vertical peaking position. And that means that you can really shave the legs. It doesn't matter so much, unless you are kind of in an open field brawl. Let's talk about the skills before we get into the game, see you guys. Um, I know it's a bit of a longer intro here, but anyway. We have magazine capacity for obvious reasons, since the autocannons are not allowed to run out of ammo. We also have laser duration, which I would take out now. I don't know why I put that in here. Also, the heat management is good enough that you don't necessarily need all the heat gen. So, go for for cooldown more than that. All right, so do something like that. Get velocity, get cooldown, and um, I would say you could you could really drop that left arm here. And with the um, with the with the heat gen nodes out of that, um, you could you could really do something like um, more more of um, more of the uh, support thing you see a light sensor range sensor range target uh, retention more sensor range uh, you could get more radar deprivation you could if you wanted get a seismic uh, sorry um, an advanced zoom and or a seismic sensor 
by um where is it down here by doing something like that so you could really go for more like like helpful stuff that it's kind of helping you play that long range build okay other than that we have double cool shot double artillery but you don't need the cool shot so much but we also have maximum survivability as you can see since we are running that xl engine we want as many hit points as possible and that's the build everybody i wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming now if you have that as always don't forget to leave a rating subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and now it's time to hit the battlefield Alrighty, first game of the day. As you can see, we are playing the Mining Collective. We are playing Domination. I'm pushing over to Delta 4 because I want to be able to shoot into Echo 4, ideally. And we have an Urban Mech already there. We also have a Raven with ECM, so that is super helpful. If only I had jump jets, then I could get up there and shoot the craziness of my LB2s into, into this area. But I want to see if we have some uh, stragglers. That is interesting. I mean, there's a guy that's a... It's a raven. You get that raven. I don't need to help you out there, right? No, here's the thing. I want to be, like, right here. There we go. He, he, he doesn't care at all. Okay, I'll take it. I mean, we took some damage here, but that is okay. We have a Vindicator right on top of us, so we're going to take care of him. And it seems like all of those enemies, they, they just have the top. Just the top. Um, the thing that I want to quickly show you guys is... Uh, actually, let's go for this guy. Uh, he's gonna lock onto me now. I'm gonna try to break the line of sight so he doesn't get the locks. And we dodged it. So it's very crucial that you know how far you can uh, how far you can overextend, if that makes any sense. So, those guys are kind of swiveling around. And, you know, there's still stuff here. Okay. Let's go for the Timberwolf then. How is he doing there? Heavy Larges as well as LRM20 Artemis. Alright. I mean... Alright. Um, let's go for him then. Okay, so he didn't get the lock on me. That's good. Uh, that's a problem. No, it's not. It's not. It's LRMs. We're gonna just stay here, quickly take him. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. So he cannot really damage me. We get the kill, and now it's time to go for... Actually, we don't need to care about the Timber. He's not in the fight. But we have a bunch of people fighting here, so let's help out as much as we can, alright? So, going around, counter NASCAR. And uh, trying to be where my enemies are, because this is the only way to deal damage to them, right? Uh, they have a UAV, but that's okay. Actually, I might attract some some people here, like... Oh god, that's a cataphract. Okay, let's go. Hello. Hello, Fracto. Am I alone against you? I kind of am, yeah. Maybe if we can take that side also off of him. Okay. Uh, turn around. Alright, so we got that, but now he's blocking me. Oh god, this is so much... This is so much, guys. Uh-huh. Where is he? There he is. All right. So, funny thing is, we got an ammo explosion kill here, more or less. And now it's time to go for Mr. Marauder there. Uh-huh. Cool shot. Just for a little bit of help. And I would say we're going to take that guy as well. Per effect. Now, last guy seems to be a Thanatos. And then there is one more dude somewhere. Seemingly, missiles are coming from the outskirts. Oh, it's a Nova Cat from earlier. Yeah, we are ready. Okay, try to go for center. And we got him, and the Thanatos is the last, and I would say we might gonna get him as well. Let's see. No, we didn't. But we won the game, and that's pretty cool. So, support fire, we have still plenty of ammo. I would say um, 600 damage roundabout is what we dealt here, and um, we're gonna see that uh, in the end score. So, this game could have gone a little bit longer. It was way beyond 600. We actually got 740 out. I'm sorry for the team damage. It might have been the artillery strike that I dropped while I was panicking against the cataphract. But okay. We got three killing blows, four assists. We got two kill most damage dealt and seven components destroyed. And that is the first round, everybody. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alrighty, second game of the day. We are playing the Grimplexers and we are playing Conquest, which is actually quite good. So I want to set up somewhere on the hill, like the Echo 6 hill. I would say Echo 6 hill is a good hill. We're going to go up there. We're going to try to shoot into the center of the map and we have a range of a thousand meters. So we have overview on that spot. The only thing that I need to be uh, careful with is though um, enemy PPC fire, enemy Gauss fire, enemy LRMs, enemy long range, basically. But since not all of my enemies will bring long range, I will probably be able to dodge most of of the incoming fire and uh, just set our enemies under pressure who are trying to get into the theta spot or trying to move over to uh, from the hotel line over to the hotel 7-8 line so again I'm gonna be a long-range support here and we will probably be able to uh, to drive a wedge in the enemy's team cohesion when just going up here echo 6 guys it's a very good sniper spot especially when playing uh, conquest because uh, in conquest 
the whole map is basically the, the fighting scenario. Instead, where um, when you're playing like Skirmish or Assault, it's kind of only this area here. So, that's what I'm talking about. We got some enemies up there, up there, up there. And uh, again, I just want to set them under pressure. So, here we go. Yeah, those missiles cannot even reach me, so that's great. My weapon convergence is not the best here, I gotta say. But still, we are actually hitting things. There's a guy, there's a guy. Warning incoming missiles, so his sensor range is actually pretty good. He's running ATMs right now. Ooh, that's, that's a lot. Yeah, he actually has the range. Alright, so we're gonna dodge this. This is exactly what I was talking about earlier. You can see uh, there, is a, there is somebody with a laser AMS right next to me, so he's helping out a bit. Uh, but in general, it's not enough to destroy all of those missiles which are coming from the low ground there. So uh, my, my sniper spot has been exposed. That's not great. Um, what are we doing about it? Seriously. I think I'm just gonna shoot the guys who are not eager to shoot me back so much because they um, they will they will just react to my fire. Um, uh, I mean, why am I shooting my lasers at that distance? I don't know. Get Charlie Mad Dog. He's in the open. That's a street guy. Okay, so we got some damage in again. Man, those lerms in the back. They need to go. Another Adi strike. Why not? Just set him under pressure by. That's a weird positioning for the strike. Didn't didn't think that it would come out like that. Okay, so we dealt some damage. Again, we forced them down, we forced them to move, and now it's time to get an overview of the battlefield once more. And there's a guy. Uh, it's always, by the way, good to wreck, uh, rock your mech back and forth like I did. You could see there was just a random shot that did not connect because of it. So, Roughneck is getting damage, I'm getting damage, but you know what? I'm at my optimal damage range. They are not. Uh, are they, though? Let's go for this guy again. Okay, so he has to adjust. All right. And uh, the Mad Dog here is being wrecked, and that is perfect. All right, so the good thing is, if the guy goes for me, I can easily dodge back here. Because they are fighting with ATMs, very low trajectory, they are not able to shoot above it. And um, I'm gonna try to attract fire so that his game is basically uh, completely countered. And he, his weapons are useless. So I'm basically doing some crowd control, basically, there. Basically. <laughs> All right. Um, enemies are in the Gulf 7 area. Can we get them? This guy again. This is perfect. We are, we're just sniping here. Having a good time. Hoping to, to hit some things. The cockpit shake is quite nasty, I gotta say. Gotta adjust a bit. There we go. And back into the fight down here. That's the Nova Cat? No, that's a Vapor Eagle. I don't know what it is. It's so, so small. We are basically doing pixel shooting here. That's a Fafnir. And that Fafnir has to go. Yeah. Actually, he's still there. I don't know if you can see it. It's it's just super, super, super small. And I think at this point, it's, it's a good idea to leave our Sniper Hill. Because our enemies will probably... Actually, let's kill this guy. Yeah, okay. Fine. Um, our enemies will probably try to get an angle on us, and as you can see, the fight unfolds on so many flanks now. And I need to do something about it. I need to help out by just being present. And honestly, I'm down to 17 shots, so yeah, the game is not even half over. So, uh, we will be down to um, small lasers quite quickly, I would say. This executioner is gonna be a problem. Alright. Uh, there was also a Kintaro that I wanted to get, but I don't know if I can do it with the 17 shots that we have here. That Saito also needs to go. His MRM is, by the way, destroyed, so that's nice. Um, is he down? There's a guy. Hey, Kentaro. Let me get that side of you. You don't need that anymore, do you? Yeah, it's fine. We have friends here, so... I can be a bit cocky with my build. Uh, and I mean, we are 7-5. We still have the smalls, as I was saying. There's a guy coming up. I was gonna try to hit him here, but then there was somebody running in front of us. Alright, small laser galore! Ah, oh, that's the executioner. This guy is gonna wreck me if I don't move around now. Actually, no, he's not gonna do that because he's probably gonna be going for somebody else. All right, guys, let's push it, push it, push it, push it. Come on, everybody together. We have the numbers. Uh, we should go for it. Box eight, guys. Can we do it together? It's a it's a hard hard task. I know people don't like it because they are afraid. Those are just LRM boats. They are long range. If we get some angle on them, we're just gonna kill them. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna stay here. We also got some cover here, so that's nice. We can retreat at any point if we need to. Don't want to eat that. No, I'm gonna back up from the artillery. Uh, there's an executioner in Fox 8. He's coming right around the corner here. 
He's not aware, though. All right. So he shot. That means his weapons are on cooldown. I'm gonna go in pursuit. Uh-huh. Actually, that might have been a bad idea in terms of my own survival. Um, yeah, let's go around here because this is the position where we expose the right side first. So if we are getting hit, it's gonna be the side that is still fresh. And the, Vul the Vulcan can actually kill us here. He has a good matchup, but we have friends. So, again, use friendship as your advantage over your enemies. Coming around once more. Uh, the Vulcan is half dead, guys. Get him. Alright, so... Is it the Vulcan or is it a Vulcan? So Vulcan is down, and um, yeah, it's just it's just an assassin and X. There's one more enemy, one more mystery guy who is uh, he's at Kappa. I cannot do much anymore, so I'm gonna just cap at this point. Um, and I will go to Gamma. All right, so we're gonna quickly get Theta, just running through it, and we're gonna turn around and we're gonna go to Gamma because that's the the spot that we have to go to anyway. Last guy is at Kappa, so I don't know. Maybe somebody should stay at Theta, because that's where he's gonna go next. Um, yeah, let's see, guys. So, this is now all about all about finding the last guy who's trying to cap now. It's trying to... We need to counter cap somehow by... Um, going to... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go straight here. I'm trying to get the fastest way. The problem is that... Um, it's kind of even in terms of capture resources when you take a look at the uh, at the top of the map here, at the top of the screen. We have 530 against 570, but the enemies are getting the cap so damn fast that um, it might not be enough, honestly. We might lose this here, especially when Theta is now being abandoned. Oh, everybody's going to Epsilon. I mean, it's, it's nice, but our slow mover should have stayed at Theta. Honestly, I would have rather um, defend that spot than uh, just, you know, going there coming in in the very last second having no impact on the cap anyway so let's see 600 capture points oh and i'm so slow i really want to try to get this still i really try to, to flip it around now but i need to get there first um the black laner duel just now is half dead i mean no he's winning the game for the team why would you duel now when you um when you are about to win so stay alive and try to counter cap that's what i would do if i was the black laner that is, is obviously still there oh man so we are at gamma that's the thing mm, is it gonna be enough though we have the assault mech coming with us so if there is a contester here trying to get us then uh we at the very least have a bit of firepower around us so that is good guys we get gamma oh and this is not gonna work right so somebody please go to theta wow blender you guys might just win lol okay well they, they, they might they might as long as they are not here, I'm fine. As long as I can swap this, then uh, we might have a chance. But no, we need Kappa at this point. At this point, it's kind of over, I think. I mean, the caps are slowing down, but we are so far behind that they, they only need, like, five seconds now. And we will not get it back in five seconds. So well done, enemy, in terms of caps. It wasn't a win. However, I consider it a personal victory because I was having a great time on this battlefield. And we were doing a lot, I think. I really have the feeling we kind of cracked 750-ish because we dealt a good chunk of uncontested damage early on and then the small laser skirmish later on was also there. Cool. 893. Not bad. Yeah, I would say the artillery strikes also helped out a lot with that. But anyway, we got a killing blow, 4 assist, 8 assist. Uh 8 assists, 4 kill most damage dealt, and 4 components destroyed, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Rifleman demonstration. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys on the battlefield. Goodbye.